Hai, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Amir Fidus bin Abu Bakar from Good Night. So, I will present uh, for the case study 3 for the introduction. So, for the history of vehicle production system, it was invented by Henry Ford. This idea was based on the concept of simply assembly interchangeable component parts. First venture into automobile assembly involved setting up assembly stands where the whole vehicle was built. Then he came up with other methods due to the assembly stand, wasted time and create camps up in production process. He solved the problem by introducing the first moving assembly line by using conveyor. This reduction in the amount of human effort required to assembly an automobile caught the attention of automobile assembler throughout the world. Ford mass production drove the automobile industry for five decades and was eventually adapted by almost every other industrial manufacturer. Uh, okay, my name is Arjunan from Group 9. Uh, I would like to present about our objective for case study 3. So, I shall start presenting my presentation. So, the objectives of our, of our case study is uh, prevention of wastage. Wastage such as wastage of material, cost, or uh, electricity or other, other uh, materials used. Uh, next is prevention of uh, defects, which is defect of uh, material produced. Uh, prevention of defects can reduce the amount of cost. And next, we can go to redu reduce technical issues such as machinery faulty or uh, operator wrongly uh, conduct uh, machinery and cause damage or anything uh, next is ensuring workers are in safe environment uh, for vehicle production system of our subject uh, the base is vehicle production or manufacturing so when workers are working in that environment it must be in a safe condition next is make improvement over time such as uh, for workers and machineries and for the environment next is reduce pollution emission which is very essential for any uh, working environment con uh, based on factories or any machineries next i would like to present about problem statement our problem statement is about uh, all around the world facing the similar issues on the process so this problem can bring the company down or in trouble when the problems are not addressed. So the problems are as follows, which is high defect rate of parts, which is part produced are not uh, good as they expected or there are more defects than the material, uh, the parts can be used in normal. Next is poor quality of products, which is the product produced is not defect but the product is not as quality as the product as should it be next is supply chain disruption uh, supply chain disruption is like whenever a company is producing a parts it needs a supply chain which is like uh, for example for like um, companies that involve in um, metal working they need metal parts for their me metal machineries so when uh, the supply chain is disrupt, their production will be disrupted too. Next is low efficient in product making, which can cause the company a big uh, down. And next is bad working condition can be a trouble for workers or even the machineries. Or anyhow, the environment in that working area will be affected. Next is unreasonable product sch production schedule which is like uh, last minute orders or extra uh, product making uh, apart from the product that we should be doing uh, according to the schedule. Thank you. So hello everyone and before I begin my presentation I would like to introduce myself. My name is Brendan. I'm from 3BNG. So today I'm going to be presenting about the lit literature review for this project which is the lean manufacturing. So this lean manufacturing is consists about the lean production technique and the lean manufacturing method. The lean uh, production technique 
which 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 I'll be presenting is about the Kanban and the the Jidoka and as well as the lean manufacturing method is which is the work cell and the value stream mapping so for the first part is the lean manufacturing so lean manufacturing is an approach that focuses on minimizing waste within manufacturing system while simultaneously maximizing productivity uh, waste is something that is seen as anything that cost customer do not believe that adds value and they're not willing to pay for so move on to the lean lean production technique so one of the techniques is the kanban uh, the Kanban was developed at Toyota to find a system to improve and maintain a high level of production. It is one of the lean production techniques that is used by many automotive companies as well as other companies. It also can achieve minimum inventory at any one time. It also provides many advantages in managing operations as well as business in the organization. And another technique for the lean production is the Jidoka. A Jidoka technique is a lean manufacturing principle that ensures that the quality is automatically built into a production process. So by using the help of this Jidoka technique, it is possible to immediately identify and correct deviations in the production process. In one of the articles that, that, that that we have been reviewed when something goes wrong in the automation process this will lead to a buildup of faulty production so as you can see in in the picture below the Jidoka interrupts when there are defect detected okay so now we're going to to the lean manufacturing method so there will be two methods here so the first for the first one is the work cell a cellular flow manufacturing is a mainly known as a method of organizing manual and machine operation in the most efficient combination to maximize value value added content and minimizing waste so this is one of the example for the work cell it is described as the u-shaped work cell so the process of this work cell is is by is by using the U shape for this work cell. Move on to the to the next um, uh, method. So it is the value stream mapping. The definition of value stream mapping is a collection of techniques to demonstrate visually the data flow and materials flow during during the production process. The value stream mapping is one complete group of performance that contains the value added and non value added actions. It is regarded as the flow of product which is initiated by the raw material and ending by a consumer. So just like the picture so just like the picture right here, it begins from the manufacturing which is the the from the production control to the manufacturing and it moves on to the next to the next process or next steps and it goes on following um, the process until it reach the consumer which is the broad distribution so it, it works like it, it works like the process from the raw material until the consumer. Okay, uh, my name is Darshanan. Okay, the, the topic I like to discuss about my discussion part. Okay, let's discuss about it. Okay, uh, so discussion. The success story Malaysian producing automobiles should be the pride of all nations. So the automotive industry is a prestigious one and mostly dominated by non Muslim countries. So with the rapid globalization and re regionalization process knocking on the door, so much more effort and sacrifices have to be made by Malaysia. So examples are the over capacity and sustainability of each of the automobile industries. 
so the advantages of the law of supply and demand prices looking at the competitive products so whenever you see an automobile company that's a product the main product that will supply so the evolution and access the development of the malaysian automotive industry within the premise of infotech industry and trade relative framework okay So for the conclusion part, as a conclusion to this project conducted, the objectives for this project were achieved, which is it is a part of the lean manufacturing idea. So a well-planned production system in, in an automotive manufacturing industry is very important when it comes to the vehicle production. For example, a lean manufacturing, it is an approach that focuses on minimizing waste within the manufacturing system while simultaneously maximizing productivity and for the, rec for the recommendation towards improving the current practice of vehicle production system or or we can say the Kaizen idea which means the improvement or change for the better that it is refer from the Japanese word the Kaizen is defined as a continuous effort by each and every employee from the CEO to field staff to ensure and to ensure the improvement of all processes and system of a particular organization.